it's our 30th anniversary in the industry, so we're really, really proud to have been entrenched in, uh, in really successful ways in the industry for 30 years. We're a small company, we're a small team, so it's really super exciting to be here celebrating that. And in recognition of that, we are launching the new version of our intuitive colorimeter, the Wave. And really what we've done with that is we've built upon the success of the previous model, the Curve, and we've really elevated every level. We've elevated the hardware, so we've got a much more, um, we've got a smaller instrument, a more slick instrument, a more ergonomically designed instrument. Um, but within the software, we've really worked hard to elevate the user experience. Um, and we've really listened to feedback from our practitioners who are using the equipment. Hopefully we've created a more robust and a more intuitive and a more efficient software to be able to get to that end point in a quicker manner for a patient and for assessor. The patient will have already gone through a, screen, a series of screening tests before they get to this. What we do is we take the patient through a series of questions. So we gather a little bit of information about the type of symptoms that they're experiencing. We then take them through the software um, and it allows us to navigate and explore with three different parameters of color. So we navigate through um, hue, saturation and brightness and we kind of play those off against each other and getting feedback from the patient at every juncture. Um, and what we do is we find a rough area of color space and then we really, really refine that in. So we really sort of go deep into um, getting as close as we possibly can to that, to that refinement area. What we will end up with at the end, once we go through the assessment, which takes about 20 minutes, we end up with a transmission and a series of color codes um, that matches the color that the patient has chosen. And then it's this information that is then exported to the lab to, to replicate that tint. And all of the tints are completely spectrally matched so that we know that we're getting the exact curve of the color that the patient needs. In terms of the assessment, you've got digital record keeping. All the information is collated, and then that can be exported into different practice management systems. So it's all paperless, it's really, really quick, really, really easy. Something we don't talk about enough is the commercial benefits that, that, that this can bring. Um, it's a really good way to bring new patients into an independent practice and to retain that patient base. Um, and we find that um, because it's a delegated function, we find that often it's a, a delegated member of staff who administers the assessment and that sits quite nicely in an independent where they've got the time and the, the resources to be able to do that. This kind of the underpinning of colorimetry and that covers all five generations of the instrument is precision. The the instrument provides a large area of colour space that practitioners can explore and not every patient will need that highest level of precision but it's making sure that the practitioners have the confidence that when they're prescribing, they're prescribing the highest level of precision needed and the optimal benefits. So that's really the underpinning um, and what the new instrument does is it allows the practitioner to still work with that foundation but in a more efficient manner within a busy practice. Um, the secondary level of precision is when, we, when a practitioner finds a tint, that, that tint is then sent to the specialist lab for, for, for tinting. Um, and Cerium really protect the integrity of that precision and make sure that the lenses provided are spectrally matched to the color that the patient has chosen at, at time of assessment. So that's really important that we follow through with that. Um, and we provide certificates of authenticity to make sure that the, the end user is aware that what they're receiving is what they have um, found within the assessment. We feel like we're in a really exciting cusp in terms of research. Historically, colorimetry has been used with children to try and alleviate symptoms of visual stress in children with reading difficulties. But what we're finding now is that there is wonderful little pockets of research into wider neurological areas, um, photosensitive migraine, um, autism, head injuries, concussion, and there's wonderful international pockets of it research happening at the minute. Um, and I think that will really widen the, the area of, of patient field that, that our practitioners can, can work within. So that's a really, really exciting time.